Welcome to Ask the Professor. I'm Professor Milligan, a college finance professor. Today's question is, what is compounding interest? There are two types of interest you can earn. Simple interest and compounding interest. Simple interest is when you earn interest only on your principal. Where compounding interest is where you earn interest on your principal and your interest. Warren Buffett, considered by most as the most successful investor of the 20th and 21st century, describes the power of compounding interest as building a little snowball and rolling it down a very long hill. Albert Einstein said, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. The actual definition of compounding interest is the process of earning interest on both the initial principal amount and the accumulated interest from previous periods. In simple terms, it's interest on top of interest. I'm going to give you some examples of compounding interest. Imagine for a second that you invested $1,000 in a savings account that offered you an annual interest rate of 5%. At the end of the first year, you would have earned $50 in interest, bringing your total amount to $1,050. Now, here's where compounding interest comes into play. In the second year, not only will you earn 5% on your initial $1,000, but you will also earn interest on the $50 you earned in the first year. So instead of earning $50 in interest again, you're earning $52.50, bringing your total to $1,102.50. By the end of the third year, you'd have earned 5% on your principal and interest, and your account now will be worth $1,157.63. That's $7.63 more than you would have had if you had only earned simple interest. When it comes to compounding interest, time and frequency are your friends. With regards to time, the longer you can let your money compound, the more the future value will be. Let me say that again. The longer you can let your money compound, the greater the value will be in the future. When it comes to frequency, the more often the money compounds, the greater the future value will be. And what I mean by that is you can compound interest annually, which is once a year. You can compound interest semi-annual, which is twice a year. Quarterly, four times a year. Monthly or daily. Here's an example of time. Suppose you put $100 a month into a savings account for 10 years and that savings account is earning 5%. After 10 years, you'll have $15,528. But if you let that money compound for 20 years, same $100 per month at 5%, but for 20 years, you'll have $41,103. Your money more than doubled in the next 10 years. Time is your friend. Let's talk about frequency. Suppose you're saving $1,200 a year at 10% for 40 years. Again, it's compounding annually. At the end of 40 years, you'll have $531,111. Now, if we change the frequency in terms of compounding from annual to monthly. 
So now what you're doing is you're putting $100 in per month, earning 10% for 40 years. And you'll see now that you'll have $632,408. That's more than $100,000 more by basically investing and compounding on a monthly basis. Compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. I tell my students, it doesn't matter how much you start with, the deal is start as soon as you can. Whether it be 10 bucks, 50 bucks, start. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot. Follow me on FinStream TV. I have several other videos out there. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at askprofessormilligan at professormilligan.com.